Hi, this is my fourth installment on a tutorial series building a basic helicopter in Blender. My project is exactly where I left off in the last video. So we're going to take it from there and we're going to be working on the landing gear. We're going to put some skids onto the bottom. This one takes quite a bit of time and I'm really going to be hurrying here and talking fast and work, trying to work fast as well. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. I made a decision to for my window and my landing gear. I've decided that the window is not big enough and the landing gear is too long. So I'm going to back that area up, move it along X, size it up into a better proportion for the model, grab it up and straighten up the bottom some. Well, hopefully that'll do. There's always room for going back and changing such things in the software. I'll go back into solid mode. Zoom in on the bottom. Quickly lose the background image. We're not going to need that. and It's grown a little bit distracting. So I'm going to get rid of that. Shrink that dialog. And get a better look at the bottom side here work in faces to start off. These two squares are going to be the base for my landing gear where it's going to sit. And I've decided that I need to increase the size of these to decrease the actual area I'll extrude for the landing gear. So I'm going to increase the size long Y. Do that by quite a bit. Have a look. It doesn't affect the profile too much and we're not going to be looking at the bottom of this helicopter as it's flying around. We're going to see the side and the top, but not so much of the bottom. So I'm thinking that'll work out okay. I'll select the four faces that I'll extrude for the landing gear. Return to a side mode. Extrude them. And I'm going to extrude them by way more than I need. Go to a front view. I'm going to use the sizing option to change the angle of the landing gear. Landing gear doesn't come straight down like this, it comes out on an angle. So I'm going to change that angle just by sizing it along the Y axis. It's going to get fat but we're going to correct that. And mostly I'm just going to pay attention to the inside line because that's the one that's going to get retained. That looks good enough to me so I'm going to go to vertices change over to vertices as well change into a wireframe so I can select right through the object use brush deselect that's double B and then the middle mouse button leave only the outside vertices selected and then size again along the Y axis this time I'm going to shrink them I think I'll try that again was a little bit close to the actual axis point where it was shrinking and that makes it a little bit touchy on how much it'll shrink so this will work better that looks good I've shrunk them in very far and that doesn't matter it's all going to get cut away now I'm going to return to faces mode to make this area easier to select use brush select to select the whole landing gear area Now I'll be better off in vertices. Go to a side view. In the side view I'm going to use knife subdivide. I'm going to zoom in very close so I can see what's going on. Pick the area that I want my landing gear to be in. Um, I'm thinking right around here should be good. So I'm going to go there. Knife subdivide is shift K use the exact line option. Engage it with a left mouse click and then do a very straight line. It's not hard to tell when you got a straight line. I started on the grid, I ended on the grid and you can see kinks in the line when it's not a straight line. So I'll call that one good. But looking at it. I have a kink right in this area so it is not a straight line. I'm going to back out of that and try again. 
it's very important to get this part straight. Landing gear should sit straight on the ground. So we'll try that one more time and I'll look a little closer this time to see that I've got things straight. And hopefully that's got it this time. Yeah, that one looks straight. So we can engage that by pressing enter, deselect the entire area, select only the bottom portions, and erase the excess. With the excess erased, I'll go back into a solid mode, tip this up a little bit so I can see what I'm working on a little better. Use brush select to pick up four vertices at a time and close the faces. Trying to work quickly here, get these closed up very quick. There's an awful lot to building this landing gear. I can't even be certain that I can get it done in one video. With this portion closed up and the thought of how much time that I have left, I'm going to cut out and check my software to see what kind of time I have left in this video and make a determination on how far I can get in this landing gear part of the project. It looks like I only have about three minutes left. That's by no means enough time to finish this whole project. So I'm going to do what I can in that time and we'll have to finish up the, this landing gear in the next video. I'm going to go back into wireframe mode, enter a side view, select the bottom portion of the skids, Extrude them down. Try to keep it more or less slim so that it has a good look to it. Deselect it. Select the back side. Extrude it. Want to bring it back far enough that it has a feeling of balance that somewhat underneath where we can imagine the engine is. I'm feeling this area is still a little bit off, but I'm going to have to correct that later. See what I can do with that. The feeling of balance can largely be changed by altering some of the sizes in the helicopter itself, too. I'll extrude that region forward a bit. I'm going to rotate it to start bringing it upwards. The front of this should curl up a little bit. So I'll rotate it by about 20 degrees, extrude it again, and rotate that by about 20 degrees. I'm using the control key to rotate at equal angles, and I'll extrude that one last time and bring it up. And I'm thinking that looks fairly good. We'll just have a look at it. We'll have a little bit of strange angles going on here. These are continued from the different sizes of rings up in the fuselage. But personally I think they look okay and it's not a big issue. Mostly it's not going to be hugely noticeable. And it's just a shape inside of inside of the landing gear that I don't think matters too much. So in the next video we'll finish this up. What I'll do is I'll draw this line back, introduce another vertices, and empty out the interior region, and rebuild the empty spaces that are created by deleting this middle part. And that'll give the landing gear a nice look to it. It'll look very uh, helicopter-ish. So that's where we're at, and that's where we're going with the next video. After that, we'll empty out the tail end and give it some propeller or something to fly on. And uh, the project's coming along fairly well here. We'll add some colors and take it into the game engine and see what we can do with it. So that's in the later videos, and I'll see you in them.